switched to another baby um and they were sleeping but then they woke up and it was all fun and cute <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonye and um, I make nursing related videos because I am a first semester nursing student. Um, it has been a while. Really, I don't be knowing what to record, bro. So I just be like, okay, I'm gonna do this and this. So, but anywho, so this video is actually not related to nursing school. It is about me becoming a freaking volunteer at a different hospital. And I'm sure y'all can guess what unit I will be volunteering on. Drum roll, please. The freaking NICU, bro. Like, the NICU. Y'all know I wanna be a freaking NICU nurse. <sighs> I'm super excited um, because this is definitely something I can add to my resume. Hopefully it helps like me stick out, you know, or stand out whenever I'm applying to be a NICU nurse when I graduate. So, um, I was told about this position by a friend that I follow on Instagram and I am so, so, so grateful. Um, she put me on, so I applied, finished out or filled out the application and stuff, did the interview, it was great. They had a lot of availability in the NICU. Um, and had the that was that was actually like two over two weeks ago i think however i because i had to wait to do the in-person like training thing and she was only able to like do it today since then after i had did like my online work after the interview and stuff so um yes so i will be doing that it's only two hour blocks once a week because since it's in high demand, um, they want everyone to be able to volunteer, like as many people to volunteer like that want to be in there. So I will be doing it Wednesdays um, from seven to nine. So, and I did Wednesdays because, cause y'all know I have clinical on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 4.30, but I was like, Whenever I go home for the weekends, Wednesdays are my days that I for sure will be here because I have clinical and then I always leave on Thursdays. So I don't want to volunteer on Thursdays and then it mess up my weekend that I go home. So I did Wednesdays and we only had freaking two clinicals left. So the whole Wednesday thing doesn't even matter. And I was like, oh shoot, next semester is not going to be like, I don't know what days my classes might be or my clinical however i talked to one of my j2 friends and she said um lectures are tuesdays and wednesdays i think she said so that means i'm gonna be here anyway because that's when we have classes um and that means clinical is a different day because clinical next semester for med surge is going to be 6 30 to 6 30. so obviously you know that can't work if it was if I had to go volunteer for seven. So it works out perfectly. Um, I'm super excited today. I, Cause I've already gotten my badge whenever I did the interview, um, which I feel legit, bro. I can scan in and out of the garage so I can, don't gotta pay for parking, scan in and out of the building, scan into the freaking Nikki, which I did today. Anywho, so today I got my little smock and um, this is just like basically what I'll wear um, whenever I go volunteer. And I just have to have a shirt underneath. Um, so I have that and then, yeah. So today I was just, it was just a quick little 30 minute training. She showed me around the office and then she showed me how to get to the NICU from the office, which is literally on the same floor. So it works perfectly. Um, and it's a straight shot. And she was like, see if your badge works. And I scanned it, that mug opened. I was like, okay. I have access to the freaking NICU as a volunteer. Like that is crazy. Like I'm so excited. So um, besides that, um, she also, I have a, as a volunteer, you get a $6 stipend. Cause you know, volunteering, they don't pay you, but you do get a stipend to eat. It's just $6. However, they have a McDonald's in there. Um, and a cafeteria 
and they also have food trucks so she was like you can go before or after you leave um and so i'll probably go after considering i'll be there from seven to nine but i was like if anything if my meal is greater than six dollars you just pay the difference so pretty excited about that because it's like just something you know so for the actual volunteering part y'all i just feel like i'm just going and going but for the actual volunteering part i um am not able to like well I don't think I'm able to feed the babies or change the diaper or anything. That would be more of like, if I was like working there. But my job to go, is to go there because it's um, a hospital where babies don't have moms. I mean, like they have moms, but some of them are unable to visit for various reasons or they just don't have family. So um i go and i will show them affection read them a book hold them because i can hold them um and i'll be speaking with the charge nurse so that way she'll be assigning me to whoever needs you know the care and affection because you know that is important um especially as a baby um so that's exciting i love freaking babies bro um so yes Today, we, she did show me around the NICU and it's an open pod. It's not like, um, you know how, I guess it will be, and I don't know what level it is. I want to say, you know, like NICUs level. Well, I guess it doesn't matter the level. Some NICUs have actual, like just separate rooms. Some have pods, like to where it's like one nurse to a pod. But this one is like kind of open. It has, it's like four big open rooms basically filled with babies. So I was seeing the little babies and they looked so cute. They were like swaddled in their blankets. I was in love, bro. I was just like, so baby fever. No, I'm just kidding because I'm not having any kids, but that starts next week. And then that following week is Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm not going to be here. And she was like, that's totally fine because that's normally how it is when the holidays come because everyone's out of town. Um, but then I'll be there the following week. So, and this one does have a commitment of, I think they want you to do 50 hours in a year or something, or six months. And I was like, bro, like that's easy, bro. I'm super excited about that, which I keep saying per usual. Um, So yeah, today is Thursday. So I'll be there next Wednesday and I'll be there from seven to nine. So, yeah, that is my little spill about me being a volunteer in the freaking NICU, bro. Like, your girl is official. Like, don't play. So, yes, that is all for this quick little video that I just wanted to tell you guys. Um, This should be posted soon. Or should I? T I'll, um, I'm gonna film next week whenever i go tell you guys how it went and then that'll be the end of the video just so y'all can know how it went so i can still like show y'all some footage a little bit on the inside so i will do that for you guys um so that is it for today i will catch up with you guys next week and then tell you guys how it went bye hey y'all i know y'all can't really see me but I am on the way to the hospital. I am running late, kind of. I'm gonna be there, it says my ETA is 6.51, but I wanted to be there by 6.45. I, and now there's traffic, so. But yes, I will be there before seven, hopefully, and make a good first impression. So I will, See you guys in a bit. Bye. I'm late, y'all. But I made it, so now I am signing in. And then I'm heading to the NICU. Hey, y'all. I am done volunteering. I am just about to sign out into the sheet. And look what was left for me. A card and a shirt. Now I'm about to go eat. <laughs> y'all i am back in my dorm um i'm back from 
volunteering. So many little update. Why I can't use my stipend at McDonald's? I'm assuming I can only use it in the cafeteria or whatever. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. so I pay for it out of my pocket, but whatever, um, that's fine. The volunteering part was, oh, it was so good. Um, you know, the Nikki you have to scrub in. So it's just wrist to elbow and you're doing it for three minutes. Um, and then I took my jewelry off, which I didn't know, but it makes sense. Um, so yes, so I just went around and introduced myself, asked anyone did they need help with a crying baby or anything, and they did. So I held two babies, um, and they had like one had, well they both had, no, yes, I don't remember. I think both of them had a little IV in their head, and I thought it was the sweetest thing. It's like not sweet because it's in their head, but they're babies, so that's where it is because they um, sometimes are hard sticks. So both of the babies I had were super chill and they were so sweet. Um, one baby had, um, I had to have her like sitting up um, because she had acid reflux. And so um, we did that. I held her first and I think I did that for like 30 minutes or so. And then I, um, switched to a new baby because that baby, my first baby, um, had feeds and then getting changed or whatever. Switched to another baby, um, and they were sleeping, but then they woke up and it was all fun and cute. Um, at first she was not, mm, she was messing with me a little bit. It seemed like she wanted to cry and stop breathing for me, but she was good, so I held her. And then the first baby I had was ready to be held again. So I went over there, worked my magic. While I was doing that, um, there was twins being born. And so they were brought into the NICU. That was the cutest thing ever. And their screams, child. But yeah, so basically all I did today was hold two babies. Um, it was a third one that I was gonna hold, but he ended up just being sleeping. He looked so peaceful in his bed. I was just like, I'm not even gonna mess with you. So, yes. Um, it was like a really, I mean, there's nothing else much to say um, because that's all I did was hold them and talk to them and ask them how they're doing and stuff like they can respond. But I was just talking to them. I think it was nice to hear my voice. Um, whenever we hold the babies, we have to have a gown on and we have to have a new gown for each baby, hand sanitizer between each baby, you know. Um, so that was cute. And yeah, I could see myself being a NICU nurse. Like, oh my gosh. So yes, and the babies were so itty bitty. Like not itty bitty from when they were first born cause they had been there for a few weeks or longer than a few weeks, but like itty bitty, like, like can fit just. So yes, I had baby fever, but it was super cute. And I'm so happy that I was able to go and do that. Um, and I got this card from like the volunteering team leadership or whatever. And it says, Sonye, thank you so much for joining our volunteer team. Enjoy your first day in the NICU. How cute. So yes, and then they got me a t-shirt which has extra things on it. So, let me see. Not extra things, but like, I think it has, let's see. Okay, yeah. So it's just a, and then, so, that was really nice, Oh, I did have a fruit basket that I was to pick up. However, I didn't have time yesterday, so, I was just like, just go ahead and donate it to someone, it's okay. So that was really nice. Um, they do it every year for the volunteers, do fruit baskets or ham and turkey before Thanksgiving, so. Yes, um, so next week I will, not, I will be on break, so I will not be volunteering, but that week after and the week after, before Christmas break, I will be volunteering, seven to 9 p.m. It was so fun um, and just like relaxing, like it didn't even feel like two hours, honestly. I was enjoying the babies and I think they were enjoying me. 
so this is going to be the end of my video um if you have any questions relating to me volunteering in the NICU how is nursing school going blah 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 feel free to comment that comment that down below I'm happy to answer any questions um but now I am about to study because I have an exam Monday that I have not started studying for pray for me but yes ma'am so that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching my channel i know it has been so long i'm so sorry i just don't be knowing what to record y'all so and i get tired of doing a day in my life or weekend in the life of a nursing student like it's the same thing every week like <laughs> so it you know but next semester i'll be doing different things and more things so it should start picking up but yes after this video i might do like a end of the semester update or you know something like that we'll see if you have suggestions feel free to comment those but yes that's going to be the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already turn on my bell so you know when i post and i will see you guys in the next one bye